So I used this bag zero times this year. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you saw in the title, I'm going to talk about the most and the least used bags from my collection this year. Given what's happening with COVID this year, I wasn't super active, but compared to the previous year, I've gone to more places and traveled a little more. So I can actually tell you which bag I used more this year. Before I start, I would like to know what is your most and least used bag this year. Please leave it in the comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, everything will be linked down below if you are interested and hope you enjoy this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. So I used this bag zero times this year. Did you guess what it is? Maybe you'll know if you've been following me, but it is Louis Vuitton Nia Noe. Are you surprised? This bag is my very first luxury bag and I've had it for about four years now. It's actually the oldest bag in my collection, which kind of explains why I didn't use it at all this year. With COVID, I'm sure most of you have been too. I've been carrying small or mini bags a lot this year and I also purchased a lot of new bags this year so I tend to carry newer bags more than reaching for older bags you know what I mean and this bag is kind of big and bulky to wear every day and I've been kind of you know more into low-key kind of bags without logos recently so I think that might be one of the reasons this one has LV monogram canvas all over and you know where this bag is from you know what I mean when you wear it? I don't know, maybe I'm kind of more conscious about wearing bags with logos this year. But there's nothing wrong with this bag. I absolutely still love the style and it's very practical and you can carry a lot. And it goes with every outfit. Moving on to the next bag. It is a small YSL Jamie bag. Are you shocked? I'm shocked because this bag is so beautiful. This also is one of the oldest luxury bags in my collection. I've used this bag only once this year. I took it to the wedding reception in the summer and that's about it. I think I actually used this bag only a handful of times since I got it. I don't know what it is. Maybe because of the lambskin. And to me, this is more like a special occasion kind of bag than the casual bag. You know, and the gold hardware and the chain really makes it kind of fancy. As you all know, there were not really any special occasions to go to this year other than Target or Costco, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping to use this bag more this coming year because it is a, such a beautiful bag. And every time I take it out, I'm in love. This was my second least used bag this year. Okay, so this bag too, I've used only once this year. It is Tory Burch Tea Monogram Tote bag. This was kind of um, an impulse purchase. You know, I was looking for a travel tote this summer and I wanted a light color bag. So when I tried this bag at the Tory Burch local store, I just fell in love and purchased it. But as you can see, it is super wide and I was a little bit afraid to put it on the ground and was kind of conscious when I carried it. But it fits so much and I was actually happy that I brought this back to my trip because I had to carry so many things. And it also has a zipper so I don't have to worry about things falling out. It's semi-structured so it sits straight up. I got Zumoni organizer inside which I wish I had when I traveled um, because it will be so much useful with a water bottle holder and things like that. Um, also, it's so pretty, you know, this color, this canvas monogram is not super obvious and I think um, this has a little bit of green tint with a kind of baby blue combo. I think it's so pretty. So I hope I use it more next year in the summer and this sums up my least used bags this year. So the first most used bag is Longchamp Le Pliage Neo Crossbody Bag. I got this bag right around when I got the Tory Burch bag this summer for traveling. 
I just knit it on easy crossbody bag that, you know, I don't have to worry about getting it dirty and it helps me to be um, hands-free. I always carry a tote bag and a mini crossbody type bag for traveling. I was lucky to find this bag at Nordstrom Rack one day and I'm just so happy that I found it. As you can see, it made it to the most used bag. Also, this bag is cheapest bag I own in my collection. Isn't it funny how you spend thousands of dollars on luxury bags, but the one you actually carry the most is a hundred dollar bag. Anyhow, I kept using this bag after the trip non-stop. It's made with nylon and this one is in the Neo line. So the nylon is a um, little thicker than the regular one. Even though it's made with nylon, it keeps its structure pretty well. The sad thing is that this bag is discontinued. So I'm going to try to find something similar and link it down below. If you've been following me, you know what this bag is. My one and only Celine Ava bag. I honestly could not put this bag down when I first got it. It's so light and fits a decent amount and super cute. This type of shoulder bag has been a big trend this year and I didn't want to get a Prada bag because I feel like everyone was carrying it. Um, then I saw this bag on Celine website and could not resist. The shape is very unique. I love Celine canvas. I personally prefer this canvas over Louis Vuitton canvas. It's also very versatile. You can wear it casually going to the grocery store or night out. And this leather is treated leather, so it was fine when I wore it in the snow or the rain. I'm so glad I got this bag this year. Obviously, I used it a lot throughout the spring and summer. I mean, I think this bag, you could wear this bag all year long because of the color and the style. You're probably not going to be surprised when you see this bag. It's Marc Jacobs, the tote bag in mini size. I think this bag was featured in at least five videos in my channel. Guys, if you are still on the fence, just go get this bag. I think this bag might be the best purchase of the year for me, honestly. It's super cute and easy to carry and perfect mini size that fits quite a bit. You can carry it as a top handle bag, which I love. And it comes with the strap, so you can wear it as a crossbody. And the strap is detachable, so you can swap it with something different, like this guitar strap. I got it from Etsy, so it gives you a totally different vibe. And it has a zipper on top, so you don't have to worry about someone pickpocketing. This bag literally has everything you want in the bag. Personally love this brown color and the leather. It really enhances my outfit every time and is very user-friendly too. I think it was super genius for Marc Jacobs to create this style. The leather is amazing and it also comes in so many different sizes and the material. So I recommend this bag 100%, not kidding, 1000% maybe. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any other questions about any bags that I mentioned in this video. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.